How you doing? Quite well, thank Good. you. Good. Thank you. Yeah, so what I wanted to ask is that um, your guru has, you know, long since expressed himself through samadhi. And when you sing, although perhaps in front of hundreds of people, four hundreds of people, you seem to be alone, except for in the presence of your guru. And yet, in that aloneness, it's a very important togetherness time for everybody that's there, the kirtan attendees. It's a time for them to remember and to recover and to re-emerge, renew themselves, return to their healing. And so we know that this is a really important time for coming together, and yet you feel alone, but not, not lonely, you know, with your guru. Mm -hmm. So I can see how important it is for the satsang, for the, the members. Uh, and I wonder how important the satsang is to you, what effect it's had on you, you know, what it's given you or taken from you. Uh, well, first of all, it's not like uh, alone with him. It's more like everybody becomes him. So we're all alone. In that room, there's only, it's a oneness, it becomes one thing. It's not like there's me and then everybody else, or me and, and him, it's just presence, you know? Mm. Um, uh, the reality is that who we think we are isn't, isn't actually who and what we are. So when you when you're really immersed in the chanting or in whatever practice you do, you're not concerned with me, with your me, you know? You're not concerned with what me is experiencing, what, what's, what me wants, what me doesn't want, with what, how me sees this, how me judges this. You're just doing practice. Mm. And the practice um, moves one more deeply into that kind of not knowing here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the satsang is, is part of him too. You know, it's not... When I sing, I'm singing to the presence, which is not a physical body. Mm -hmm. So it's not limited by this one, that one, this one, or that one, or even by this one. Right? It's not... A, it's not a, so it doesn't feel like a memory in that moment? Well, it's, it's not a memory just, at all. It's just a presence. No. Memories are there, of course, yeah. but they are not it either, so they also come and go. They're just signposts that, that, that point to something. Yeah, they, they may uh, bring about some kind of emotional response or mm. some nice memory or some unhappy memory, but underneath all that, the pleasant, the unpleasant, the coming, the going, the, the wanting, the not wanting, the judging, is presence, being, yeah. awareness. Awareness is all-inclusive. It's aware of everything. High, low, in, out, up, down, good, bad, pleasant, unpleasant. Mm. All the pairs of opposites which come with being limited to a physical uh, or a separate identity. So, uh, and the more that the satsang does the practice, the deeper the space becomes for all of us also. Mm. Yeah. So, in that sense, it's, it's a group experience, you know, a yeah. group practice. Yeah. Because everybody, you They're know, I'm not singing through a bunch of, not singing through a bunch of uh, stock traders who are sitting there, you know, working on their computers trading stocks. Mm -hmm. I'm singing to people who are, uh, to some degree or other, you know, entering into the practice, into the moment as deeply as they can. Mm -hmm. That intention is very powerful for everybody. Hmm. It's not, uh, but it's hard to for it's hard to overcome the the uh, the kind of knee jerk uh, emotional need to want to feel good about something and trying to make something happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but one has to get over that. Some sense of success. You know, or, 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 wow, I, this feels really good, I'm relaxing, this is great, yeah. you know, and then you spend the whole time fantasizing about that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of the practice, which is the repetition of the name. 
-hmm. The name goes on by itself all the time. We're just tuning into it. So either we're tuned in or we're not tuned in. You know, mm -hmm. either we're paying attention or we're not paying like attention. Like harmonizing with it, like you jump in and begin. Harmonizing is a nice word, but it's yeah. essentially it's just tuning in. Yeah. Harmonizing. I meant like you know, adding the your harmony. voice, yeah, you know, harmonizing, the harmony like with if the it's situation. already going, you yeah. add your voice. And, yeah. Yeah. It's so powerful to see, you know, from my point of view, you're in a green room and then you come out and you do the show, <laughs> you know, and there's excitement beforehand and anxiousness beforehand and for, by vulnerable for and people waiting in line, people mm -hmm. trying to get there on time, people trying to get a ticket or, mm -hmm. you know, that, get a right seat, mm -hmm. and, you know, all that. And then there's no more of that. There's, yeah, as you see, there's, right a, there's a presence. And, That's the power of And practice, so I see that yeah. transformation, mm -hmm. but I, I was wondering, you know, what that was for you, you know. I could see what you bring to the satsang. I was wondering what the satsang brings to you. Yeah. Well, if nobody showed up, I'd be on watching TV and I wouldn't be doing shit. So it's good people come. So we can all come over and watch TV? I'm not a big enough screen. I need a bigger screen. I need like a, an arena-sized screen. So. Yeah, but think of it, no sound check. It would be great. <laughs> sound check's the most fun. That's why we have the most fun. We do all kinds of weird stuff at sound check. Thank you very much. Yeah. You do practice at home? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where'd you get these mala, this mala? Yeah, this mala was... Um, I got this uh, in Tibet, and then it spent uh, 108 days in a Taoist monastery, and then 108 days in a Hindu temple, and 108 days in a Buddhist monastery in Japan, and then uh -huh. it came to me. Where was the Taoist uh, temple? In China? Yeah, in China, yeah. Um, and you were in Tibet too? I got it from there, I wasn't there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I had different friends mm -hmm. bring it to different places, and mm -hmm. then it came to me, and it, it was much more pink. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, and now it's getting quite faded, which is nice, just much like me, yeah, losing my color. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it's nice, but uh, I just pass them on all the time, so they don't stay with me long. Mm -hmm. And what practices were you doing in the monasteries? That I was doing? Yeah. Um, I practice um, writing uh, scripture and doing medicine and uh, language. What kind of medicine? Chinese medicine. Oh, yeah, do you yeah, practice that here? Yeah, yeah, traditional Chinese medicine. Uh -huh. yeah. um, and, uh, and then meditation, movement, qigong, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Right. And, uh, and then so my daily practice uh, is, you know, Usually, whatever it physically is, but then the the uh, the audio portion is uh, uh, down to you. Huh. <laughs> so, uh, my students get a choice of early or late Krishna Das, and that's it. <laughs> or too late Krishna. Das. Or too or too late. They say, "Can we hear anything else?" No, there is nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> What um what where what kind of Hindu temple were you in? Um, it was in a, an Anuman temple, actually. Yeah. yeah. Where? Um, I was uh, told it was in the Rishikesh, in the temple that I was in, um, but I wasn't there when I was there, so I don't know. So wait, say that again. You... I was told it was in Rishikesh. What what was? Uh, the the mala. Oh, the mala. Yeah, uh -huh. right. Where you could sit on, underneath the stairs and sing the chalisa. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like Maharaji's temple. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's where I was told it was, but I wasn't that clear by the time it came, because then it went to Japan and then it got to me, and then it was stories. Oh, the mala. The mala. <laughs> yeah, the mala took and that. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So I, I was see. told, yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the same one I described. I was like, I'm not certain of that. Uh -huh. But either way, it's a journey. It wasn't mine. It's the mala. Oh, the mala spent time in. Mm -hmm. You did. Yeah. You yeah. were having a cup of coffee. So I was having in yeah. Starbucks up on 83rd. I, yeah. I got it. That's what I was asking. <laughs> yeah. It's always good to send your model somewhere to do some work. While Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it could do 108 times the work I can do. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I did get to sing there, so that was really nice. Yeah, good. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. What do you want from the satsang now? What do I want? Yeah. 
Nothing. What would I want? What do you really want? What do I really want? I want to. I want to be under Maharaj's blanket all the time. Mm. That's what I want. That's beautiful. Well, it's big enough that it's you can't ever be outside it. No, that's the truth. You just don't always recognize that. So yeah. that's what the deal is. Just pull the different remember. threads and you see the whole cosmos move, mm -hmm. and you know. Yeah. Thank Much you. love. Thanks Thank for you. coming. Yeah, of course. Okay.